Strictly Strings, book two, page six, the G major review. We have our G major scale, an exercise with a duet for number two, and we have arpeggio, slurred staccato, and other uh, bow exercises for different parts of the bow. My recommendation is try to play in different parts for every song, maybe upper half for one, middle for another, lower half for another, and even somewhere in between. We start by tuning. metronome beat so that we get a nice steady beat to follow and here we go our G major scale F's are sharp C's are natural one two three four <laughs> Just a note on the scale, sometimes the violins will keep going up while the cellos and viola go up and down and the bass might go all the way up. So uh, just follow whatever your book says to do. I'm playing the violin part only. Next for number two, I'll do the A part first and the B part second, and I will do them back to back. So get a beat going before you start. We count one, two, one and two, and rest, rest. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. B part, ready, go. One and two and 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 you may have noticed I counted two different ways. The first way was just counting the quarter note, one, two. And the second way was the subdivided eighth note, one and two and. In music, we use both ways to count when we play songs. Next, number three is an arpeggio exercise. Number three, ready, go. Slurred staccato. One, two, three, four. Feel free to make those fermatas nice and long. Last one, lower half of the bow, number five. For all the other songs, you can choose your favorite parts of the bow to play in. And one and two and number five. <laughs>
question we ask ourselves at the end of a page like this, as it's a warm up exercise page, is did I play in tune? Not how fast can I go? Thank <laughs> you.